The 2022 Italian general election was a snap election held in Italy on 25 September 2022. After the fall of the Draghi government, which led to a parliamentary impasse, President Sergio Mattarella dissolved the parliament on 21 July, and called for new elections. Regional elections in Sicily were held on the same day. The results of the general election showed the center-right coalition led by Georgia Maloney's Brothers of Italy, a radical right political party with neo-fascist roots, winning an absolute majority of seats in the Italian parliament. In a record low voter turnout, Maloney's party became the largest in parliament with 26% of the vote, making her likely to become prime minister of Italy, as per the pre-election agreement among the center-right coalition parties. Lega and Forza Italia suffered losses, polling 8% each. The center-left coalition achieved about the same result as in 2018, with the Democratic Party polling 19% and the Greens and Left Alliance passing the 3% threshold. More Europe and civic commitment failed to reach the election threshold. The Five Star Movement defied single-digit polls before the campaign and reached 15%. The centrist alliance action, Italia Viva polled 7%. Other parties to be represented in Parliament were the regionalist South Calls North, South Tyrolean People's Party, and Trentino Tyrolean Autonomist Party. Due to the 2017 electoral law of Italy and the mixed electoral system, the center-right coalition was able to win an absolute majority of seats, despite receiving only 44% of the votes, by winning 83% of the single-member districts under the first-past-the-post part of the system. As a result of the 2020 Italian constitutional referendum, the size of parliament was reduced to 400 members of the Chamber of Deputies and 200 members of the Senate of the Republic to be elected, down from 630 and 315, respectively. In addition, the minimum voting age for the Senate was the same as for the Chamber, 18 years old and no longer 25, which marked the first time the two houses had identical electorates. Observers commented that the results shifted the geopolitics of the European Union, following far-right gains in France, Spain, and Sweden. It was also noted that the election outcome would mark Italy's first far-right-led government and the country's most right-wing government since 1945. 